None of the mods. <sighs> All the mods. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG, All the Mods 3 server, getting stuff done to get me out to space, and today it's rocket ship time. Now, uh, I've been doing a whole bunch of crafting between episodes, and I've got things ready here. In, in, in fact, I kind of feel like Nonsanity with the project chests. And, and I was tempted to steal his intro, but I said, nah, that's his thing. Uh, anyway, so one of the things we need to do, let's grab all that stuff, is, um, oh, one more thing, that thing. Uh, one of the things that uh, I need to do is I got to fuel the rocket, uh, the, the rocket, and I'm thinking of putting it out there. <laughs> Another project chest, yay! Uh, the the rocket is a liquid fueled rocket, and so it's going to be burning um, a a fuel made out of uh, oxygen and hydrogen. So what I need is to go ahead and make those bitsies. So the first thing is I need to go ahead and make the electrolyzer. That will go ahead. I clicked you. Okay. I think that will work. Uh, the The electrolyzer will go ahead and make yep the uh, the 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 hydrogen and uh, oxygen out of water. So the nice thing with this is, since you've got the various items here, you can select those items uh, using the middle mouse button. Except I don't like that one. I've got another extra mouse button on the side of my mouse, so I bind it to that. So that's the fluid out. Oh, that's the electrolyzer. Another fluid out. Let's see, that's a machine structure, fluid in, and another machine structure. See how easy that was? Oh, I love it. All right, let's scroll up. No, 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 scroll up. All right, so this is where I need a coil and copper titanium. I, I decided that's the top of the line, and I've got plenty of titanium. I, I figured that would make it go faster, and so that's what I'm looking for. So power and power, and then we need to go ahead and... Uh, I think I'll hold off on the power for right now. Let's uh, right click this beastie, complete. And I love the look of this model. This is a very nice looking model. I, I think what would have been nice is if the, the power could have been switched, but then you wouldn't get this pipes connecting underneath, which really looks nice. All right, so this needs water and we no longer need this piece there. So let's go ahead and grab water and a pipe. Okay, so this is the infinite water source from pressure pipes. We'll stick that there, and I need the configurator. There's my configurator. Oh, and it's set for fluids. Yay! Perfect. All right, so let's do an in and an out. And if we take a look at this, uh, oh, here, let's turn it on. Uh, if we look at this tank, where does it show? Okay, it's doing absolutely nothing because there's no power. So let's go ahead and slap power on here at this point. Power, power, you should be working. Yeah, see, it, it's now blue here, and it, it's, it's working. So, burn, doing stuff, and over here, okay, there's oxygen. We got 300 out of 16 buckets worth, and hydrogen, we've got, uh, you know, 600, 600, 700. Technically, we should be getting double the hydrogen that we are of oxygen because water is H2O. So there's two hydrogens for each oxygen, but you know, we'll just let that slide. All right, so this is splitting the water for me, and I, I did that titanium coil because I wanted it to be as fast as possible. So the next thing we need to do is let's go dink and dunk, and we need to go ahead and turn this stuff, the, the hydrogen and oxygen, into something that we can use. And for that, let's go to this, it's a shift right click. Uh, I want the chemical reactor. There we go. And we'll click on this block. Bidink. And, you know, because that's going to drive me nuts. Let's go ahead and grab that bit of <laughs> concrete. Oh, hey. <laughs> Don't, don't go over there. <laughs> okay, let's click with uh, something else. Uh, let's break that, break that, and let's, you can see the, uh, the, the, the glowstone lined block underneath there. So let's, okay, there, that's looking much nicer. All right, so I want the power, power, that's power, uh, motor. I went with the elite, which is the top of the, the, the line. In fact, if we take a quick look at the recipe for this, it's 
iridium plates, and so that's four pieces of iridium plus 16 titanium, but I wanted this to run as fast as it could. All right, so, and then you are an output, and you are a structure, a fluid output. Uh, let's scroll up for uh, the next layer. Scroll. All right, you are the chemical reactor, fluid input, input. All right, right click, done. So this beastie here uh, is gonna need power, and uh, power plug, power plug. Let's just go ahead and, because I don't care, we'll just stick power plugs there and turn that on. Now it needs to be configured to actually uh, pull stuff in. And there's the hydrogen. You can see the, the kind of a pinkish color. Uh, and this, and then double that. And there's the kind of bluish oxygen. Cool. And so this is doing its thing. And if we go over to this tank, that's the output. And we got rocket fuel. So, yay, there's the rocket fuel slowly making its way through. And I've got a fueling station. So that I'm going to stick right here. And we need another pipe. It got one left. I counted. I can count. Okay, and so let's set this up. That pulls, that's pushing, and so this is going to actually store up to five buckets of rocket fuel as it slowly makes that. Now, I, I'm doing this first just because, that, like you can see, this is going to take forever and seven days to, to generate fuel. Uh, I am going to take this linker, and the recipe on the linker is super, super cheap. And I'm not going to show you many of these recipes, but just because all these components needed to be built. And I figured you didn't want to see me building all those. So, uh, but if you shift right click this, the this fueling station is now linked. So we'll go ahead and save that. Uh, oh, 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 this needs power too. So, because if you look at it, no power. So we'll go ahead and slap a power on there. And why do I just throw power cells around? Because my total amount of power that I have that I can store and use just keeps going up. So I figure I'm not running any power conduits anywhere. I've got 57 megabytes of, of RF uh, kicking around. Well, megabytes. They're not bytes, uh, but uh, mega RF uh, going along. So that will work very, very nicely. Alrighty, so that's taken care of. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, yes, charge pads. These little beasties, um, these were fairly expensive. If we take a look at the recipe on that, steel, lots of steel. For the tank, more steel for the, the 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 fans. Double that. So and and I needed two of these. So that's a lot of steel, and I'm happy that this is along because every time I would get home, I would log in and I'd fill this up with charcoal and and iron, and it would make me two stacks of steel, and then I'd go off and do stuff and eat, you know food with uh, Mrs. the Duck Farmer and you know go to bed or whatever and I just kept cycling through stacks of steel through there very easy anyway these charge pads I'm gonna go ahead and put one here and one there and then I need to connect them where's my there's my configurator oh interesting it doesn't have a bottom texture anyway uh, let's go ahead and set that to push in and this one over here let's hop on down to this little cubby here oh there we go did you? Yes. All right, so these will charge things that need hydrogen and oxygen. And my, my assumption is that while this is running, and yeah, I can look at this tank. Uh, you can see the hydrogen is building up pretty fast, oxygen building up pretty fast, and the, the fuel, not so much. I'm gonna have a surplus of hydrogen and, and oxygen, which is which is fine because that will also back up into here, and that's gonna be the supply, you know, also the conduit uh, that will do the charge pads, and this can just run, 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 run. And I, I was pondering a way of doing a storage of the fuel, and I figured, eh, you know, I don't care. Uh, we'll we'll just be fine with that, and uh, chest be done. It's not an act, but. It'll, I'll use it as one. All right, so we're taken care of uh, with that. So, you know, let's actually make the rocket because we're going to be needing that. Open. Okay, so over here, 
I have my rocket area, and I'm hoping I can link the fuel. I'm hoping it's close enough. I haven't tested it. We'll find out. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these bits here first. Uh, the launch pad is the first thing you need. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is my launch pad, and it defines the the x and y coordinates. Well, Minecraft is different, so it defines the to and from, and uh, but not the height. So like the length and width, but not the height. Uh, for height, we need to go ahead and use this scaffolding piece, and I'm going to stick it right here. Uh, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think is all I need, but you know, it it will slow things down. Hey, because it, it's going to be scanning this and building this later. But I, I made sixteen because you make them in groups of eight, so why not? All right, now let's make the the actual rocket. Oh, I need I need a rocket assembly machine, and that one I decided to keep here with unbuilt because it needed a bunch of things these titanium rods well because I've got the the, the 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 mill right here this little guy this lathe I can turn one ingot into a, a rod okay, let's go ahead do the recipe but uh, I can sit there with the lathe I can turn one ingot into two rods or you can use three ingots in a row to make one rod the, no Six ingots or one? I'm going with the one. Uh, these are also fairly expensive. Uh, okay, let's click here because that way I can show. Uh, this is a lot more titanium, so that's two, three, four, five titanium on each. But I've got plenty of titanium and some leftover concrete because uh, I made this uh, the size piece that I had leftover concrete. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this out. I think that's going to be the only thing I'm going to build on here. And I think I'm going to put it here. So let's see, we need power, and then that's going to go here, power it up. And then the linker, let's go ahead and right-click this here. No. Can I shift-click it? Yes. So this is now linked, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and just paste that there. Uh, so this, if I build a rocket here, it should automatically start transferring fuel. That's my hope, uh, because I, I don't want to do anything else. Uh, all right, so I've got everything else done. Let's let's go ahead and grab these bitsies. So this is a liquid rocket engine, and I'm going to go with this pattern. I played with this in survival. Well, survival. I play. <laughs> this is survival. I played with this in a single player mode, and I tried just a three by three grid with lots of tanks on top. Speaking of tanks, uh, I, I tried that, and it said there was not enough thrust. So I went with the four extra uh, rockets around the side, and that worked. So we're going with this. Do, do. And I love these textures, how you've got that bottom and top size texture. I love that. And, and it just keeps growing the size of it. So let's go like this. Do, 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 do. And now I'm trying to remember exactly how tall I made this. So we're just going to go with tanks until I run out of space. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's try six. And then I got four left, so let's go like that. Okay, that that should work. You know, let's break these. Magnet. I, I like having a difference of two at least rather than, yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Uh, that's, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. I guess that's not a difference of two. That's a difference of three. Huh. Oh, well, we're going with that. Okay, and I need this guidance computer, and I'm going to stick that down in there. And then I need a seat, and if we just right-click the guidance computer, it can take stuff, but we're going to deal with that later. I'm going to put the seat on top of this, and you can actually sit on it. Hi, I'm 
in my rocket. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, <laughs> silly this. Uh, hey, I want to shift out of here. There we go. <laughs> I, for a second, I was going, ah, I'm going to be stuck forever. Okay, let's, and, and that's all I need for the rocket right there. That would be sufficient to, to, to work, but it, it, it looks weird. So I'm going to stick some glass so I can look out. And then I'm going to go with these bits. Um, I wanted something nice and dark. So this is the, the oh, don't do that. Uh, I wanted to go with the black quartz from Actually Editions. I like the, the look of it. It's a nice dark, dark uh, block. And we'll go with that. Cool. Uh, that works. Uh, let's bars. Do I got bars? I kind of like throwing bars on. Uh, just because, hey, why not? We got uh, room. <laughs> there we've got a little uh, radar thing at the, the top. I kind of like putting bars here. It, it feels like it, it connects the, the tanks in. Um, you know, I've got room here. Let's go ahead and put some stabilizing fins, because why not? And I've got five left. Um, I'm going to skip putting stabilizers on here because I would need eight and I don't see, you know, it would look kind of like that, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And uh, so I think that will do me. I, it, it's just a little tiny touch, but I kind of like those. Okay. Let's go ahead and scan. And it's going to start all the way at the top of that, that gantry there and slowly scan its way through. So if I didn't want these little fin pieces, I could have gone with a 5x5 five five instead of a 7x7 seven seven area. And it would be smaller area and so it would scan faster. Uh, likewise, if I got rid of these and the, the top three, I could have gone with a much smaller piece and that would have worked too. Uh, what does it say? clear for liftoff. Okay, so I've got enough thrust, uh, the weight's fine, the acceleration's fine, so let's go ahead and build it, and it's going to do the same process, but instead of the green of scan, it's the red of build. And if we look at this, here's a liquid fuel tank, there's a liquid fueled engine, the individual components are there, and uh, we'll just wait for this. It's going to turn this into a solid object. It's going to be not, not the uh, individual parts, but a rocket at that point. Rocket! And it's slightly different, but it's a, uh, yeah, it's Entity Rocket name. Uh, but it's it's one item now, and uh, that, that certainly works. And build complete, we are ready. In fact, if I right click it, oh, my black glass turned into black crap. <laughs> That's no good. Um, but anyway, you can see altitude on the left, the velocity. I have no positive or negative velocity. Fuel. Hey, my fuel's going up. That's really, really handy. Okay, I'm going to shift out of here. Ah, dang it. Okay, I cannot use the, 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 the those lost of transparency. Okay. Oh, hey, line. This is the fuel connection line. It connected automatically for me. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, if I... Sh uh, no, I didn't want to click in. I wanted to shift click. There we go. And here's the guidance computer that I can access that I'm sitting on. Uh, I'm losing, gonna lose all that fuel. You know, I, I'd rather be able to look out than, than not. So I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this. Dang it, I'm gonna lose that fuel. Pretty sure. All right, let's get rid of the, the stained glass that looks so really cool and doesn't work. Dang it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead then and, no, not you. You, uh, let's get rid of you, glass. There we go. One, two, three, four, done. All right, so glass, 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 glass. Build it. And I'm, I'm not going to rescan it because the change of glass does nothing uh, to it. Unfortunately, I am pretty sure that all the fuel that was built and tossed over is now gone. Dang it. Because the, the fuel building is probably the slowest procedure of everything here. 
uh, the the electrolyzing of the the water not that not that bad. So we're, it's all build complete. If we shift click this guy, yeah yeah we lost all that fuel. Okay, lesson learned: don't use stained glass. It's a bad idea. Anyway, is, I want to get this full up. Uh, to get that working, and there's the nice little zoom, so that's cool. Uh, right, so we've got a, a space ship that will take us up to, into space. Uh, we have no destination yet, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. One problem, though, I need to survive in space, and you know, you you can't see anything on me because I have this little cosmetic armor thing turned on, so you can't see. The, the armor on me and this gives me flight but it doesn't give me the ability to breathe in space so I need a suit and that's what we're gonna do right now let's go over here that was the other bits assembled okay so that's just gonna run and that's gonna be happy in fact we've got yeah see we've got a backup of the hydrogen and oxygen going on now so perfect this over here, we need to get a suit going. So this is the, the recipe to make the space helmet. Let's go ahead and grab that. I, let's open this, perfect, okay. I'm gonna be using these bits in a sec, but uh, I used my wireless crafting grid to pull the items I needed, grab those items out, and then tried to shift click those items into the crafting station, and I lost connection. I got disconnected from the server and it still said I was still connected and I could never reconnect until the, the server was, was uh, reset. So I carefully placed rather than shift clicking those and um, got it ready for this. I crashed it twice. Anyway, uh, space suit chest piece, we need that. Uh, we need some legs to keep your knees from getting cold and booties. All right, so let's go ahead and grab all these bits. Da -da 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 -da. And we need this work or suit workstation. We don't need any of this anymore. You know, I'm trying to think of where to put the suit stuff. Let's put it right. Yeah, let's put it right here because it, it doesn't really need to be close to anything. But uh, I don't want it in the back because this is more of the front of things, and I may put other stuff there as needed. Anyway, uh, this suit workstation allows me to put upgrades into uh, these these suits, and I'm going to add the anti-fog so I can see better. The atmosphere analyzer. Oh, here, let me uh, just right-click this right now. Right-click, uh, atmosphere type air at zero atmosphere. Oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. I should have one atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know why it says zero. Um, hover upgrade. Anyway, that should give me a HUD that uh, explains what the atmosphere is for wherever I am uh, and whether or not it's breathable. The hover upgrade and the flight speed control upgrade so I can go a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and pull out that helmet. Put in the uh, chest piece for the suit. And I built the top tier pressure tanks just because I figured I want as much volume as I can. Uh, the, the first two, you can see it's got this little O2 there. That's The first two are for oxygen, and you really, if you like breathing, you really want to have those. And then these next two are for hydrogen to work with my jetpack. I'm going to stick that over to the side. I don't think there's anything else that I can put in here, nothing that I care about. So I've got my jetpack so I can fly, because I'm going to be taking this off and there goes my flight. Sad. Oh well, let's grab this. Uh, leggings, I could put some speed boosts on there, but I really don't want to have a running speed boost. But I do want to sit there and get feather fall. So if I'm way up high and I fall down for some reason, I don't want to um, toast it. That would be bad. And now we can take these all off and put these all on. And oh, you can see over there, we've got uh, some HUD. Oh. Now it says the atmosphere type of air is one atmosphere. Okay, that makes sense. And it's huge here on the side because of the size of the, the GUI that I run. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that size. Can't really do anything more about it. Uh, the jetpack, I can't double click to, to do that, but... Um, gee... 
I'm trying to remember. Okay, let's let's find out what were my controls. Uh, controls, advanced rocketry, um, open rocket GUI G, and toggle jetpack X. I thought I was hitting X. Oh, I have no fuel for them. Okay, let's go ahead and take them off. Put on my my suit so I can get up here. <laughs> okay, so uh, if I now I can take this off put these on and you can see I've got an O2 option there so I'm gonna stand on my O2 and it's gonna fill that up this is going down but ah, it looks like it's going up Wow okay uh, but my O2 bar is all full cool uh, you know oxygen oxygen empty empty okay so Oh, hey, I can do this. No, I can't. Parkour. The dreaded flaw of grocks everywhere. All right, now if I stand here, oh, I need to have, dang it, I left it in here. <laughs> Come here, you. Put that on. I could put it on from that other thing. And now I can stand here, up there. Look at my hydrogen go up. Okay. Whoa. It looked like it needed to go up twice. Okay, uh, at this point, now I should, let's see, X, Shift X, uh, G was the other, okay, that's not, alright, I'm not sure, I should then be able to fly, hmm, okay, something is, is amiss a there, and I will have to figure out what my controls are that I've turned up, but you can see I've got the anti-fog, the atmosphere analyzer, hover upgrade, yeah, because see I should be able to toggle that with the X, uh, and the flight speed, so I should fly faster, all those tanks in the jetpack, uh, I've got here uh, nothing on my legs, and then the padded boots, so I'm good for getting out there to space, um, you know, I could go to the sun, I could go to the sun right now, and I would be safe because it's night. <laughs> it's also rainy, which is not much fun. Uh, but I've got uh, plenty of H2. I've got plenty of O2, so I'm good to go. The the problem, though, is at this point, I don't have an easy way of getting over there with a the spacesuit. Uh, but uh, the other problem, too, though, is I don't have fuel in there. Let's go ahead and take you off, put you back on. Oh, I love that night vision. Let's sleep this away. And this rain is annoying. Go away, rain. And let's see how the fuel's going. But I think there's nothing. It's going to take too long for me to just sit and watch. So let's, uh, no, that doesn't do anything. Shift click this. Yeah, that's just a teeny tiny amount of fuel. Alrighty, that's not going to work out nicely. But what I do need is I need something a destination to put here and for that I need chips and and I also need just some time to wait for this to, to happen so I'm gonna sit there and break here while I let this rocket fuel up and make a destination chip so we can get someplace at this point the ship should be fueled and because I don't have the the, the jetpack working I decided to make a little walkway uh, to the get to my rocket there and uh, you can also see there's some pylons extending down into the water just because you know hey floating stuff no uh, it needs to be supported that's a huge rocket it's it's got to be supported and it's turning night already well let's go ahead and take a look at this thing uh, at this point if I shift click this the there's a guidance computer in there and if I click it I can access the stuff there's nothing there I need a planet ID chip so let's go ahead and make one planet ID chip needs this stuff uh, basic circuits and the the satellite ID chip is just another basic circuit so uh, fortunately I have <laughs> That goes there, that goes there, there's my planet ID chip. Perfecto. All right, so let's go ahead and shift right click this thing, click that thing, put that chip in there. And now, if I shift right click, there's a sele select dist. 
<laughs> destination. So with this, I've got the Earth and I've got Luna, which has no moons. So uh, I, that's where I want to go for right now. I want to go to the moon because, you know, why not? I, I could also hit the planet list and I could go ahead and select. Did I double click that? Huh, that's very weird. Uh, no, I didn't want to go there. Shift right click, shift right click, destination, planet list, and I can cycle between Earth and Luna. So I'm going to go to, to Luna. That is the, the place to be. Let's select that. So now if I right, oh, and the hover, I, I can't get that uh, jetpack to work. You can see it's blinking red while it's slowly pulsing red there. I don't know what's wrong with that. And if I, I, I tried my X key, I tried my C key because I rebound it, uh, it does nothing. It does nothing at all. And I'm not sure why, because if we if we look at this rocket, uh, what's the? No, it's not a rocket. It's jetpack. Jetpack. It. That one. Jetpack. Okay. So this one, the only thing I can think that's different is you've got all these different tank options here. And I went with the low pressure tank because, hey, that's cheaper. And I was wondering, okay, is that an issue? Because I've got these these super high uh, tanks. Well, I, I pulled out the, the two hydrogens, um, super high, replaced them with low, added them with fuel. No, made no difference. So I have no idea why that's not working. There's no conflict for these keys whatsoever. Oh, way too far back up here uh, there's no conflict on these I don't get it if you if you have a clue as to why that's not working let me know in the meantime we're gonna be brave and go without it so you can see it has a destination of Luna so let's go ahead and oh I'm looking at my back I, I want to look at the front all right it's night we could go to the moon the Sun but I've already done that joke so let's go ahead and and uh, take off I'm gonna turn off the GUI now, I'm going to keep the GUI on because you can see the altitude and velocity. So my velocity in the middle is going up. My fuel's going down. It was to the top, but man, is it going down fairly fast. There's my altitude going. And I really hope I don't need extra flu flu <laughs> fuel. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, whoa. I'm really glad I didn't build my rocket right below my... Um, my uh, wind turbines because that would have been really bad had I hit that <laughs> really bad oh, I wonder if, what would happen if you build something above it and you hit it I don't know I don't know at all all right I think we're about ready to transition and there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and hit space to descend down to the moon down we go jerk jerk flick, brick. And we should get a, a transition where we'll start seeing the map below us. And boy, is that really, really... Okay, that, that's a lot smoother there. And... Ground? Well, we got the retros have fired on. That's, that's always a good thing. The velocity is slowing down. Whoa! Uh, you know, this is very, very interesting looks like the moon is a nice green overworld look <laughs> i don't think that's the case but um i also think i landed on a trip so let's go ahead and shift out of here <coughs> uh, that can't be good <clears throat> let's, let's hop off of here well i'm definitely on the moon based on gravity let's turn off the light yeah, I uh, landed on top of a tree. I, I love this really super huge plume of smoke, which makes sense. But uh, so the oh, oh hey, we got a rising Earth over there. No, I lied. It's a setting Earth. Uh, it's definitely definitely no breathing up here, which is no oxygen says so there. But it seems really strange. Oh, I can jump nice and high, which is good. And I, I can't, jetpack is just no, no thing. 
Ah, uh, that could be a problem because I got to get all the way up to there, don't I? Well, for one thing, I, I definitely want to do. I want to go ahead and get rid of this tree because that's kind of a pain in the took us. Where'd the white wool come from? I have no idea. I'm hoping that gravity-wise, it's not going to um, uh, knock down or fall down as I chop down this tree, because that would that would be bad. And I'm going to have to uh, build up to to get rid of all of these bits. Yes, things fall really slowly. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and I can reach this. Break break. That can all go. You can all go. Can I reach you? Yeah, just barely. Well, I've got the the, the, the shoes that uh, allow me to not to take fall damage, which is, which is handy. Oxygen-wise, I'm not seeing it going down, but I'm not sure if that's because I'm not sucking in any oxygen or my tanks are so huge. Oh, I think think we had mobs spawning out here like uh, sheep and stuff <laughs> and they died because of lack of oxygen <laughs> look at all these cows and pigs there's a enderman flying around and I think he's taking damage so uh, yeah I think um, there's something strange going on here on the moon Boing. <laughs> love that jump boing all right, so I'm hoping I can make it back to uh, to Earth. I'm gonna go ahead and have to pillar up to get to that. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and and uh, call it a day here. Uh, I made it to the uh, the the moon, and it's green, just like this. This is the moon. Uh, you know those astronauts pretending that it was all gray up there. <clears throat> That's not true. It's green. Can't you see? It's green. <laughs> I think it didn't get ginned the way it was supposed to. Anyway, uh, this has been Croc the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG All the Mods 3 server, and we made it to a very green moon. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.